So I could show my history report, my calculator, and my Smokey the Fire Engine lunchbox. Here's my coin. I better not leave home without it. That's my history report. That's my calculator. That's my Smokey the Fire Engine lunchbox. It's Car Town News Update. A little later today, we're going to be chatting with Mr. Firebird about his new time portal. So dust off your bumpers. And stay tuned this afternoon. Mr. Firebird, a well-known tinkerer, thrilled scientists around the globe with his announcement of a time portal device yesterday. Everyone's burning rubber to make it down to Earl Shine's house of car paint. Just $49.95 buys you gallons of paint for that do-it-yourself paint job while supplies last. Hubcaps looking dingy? Are they losing their shine? Well, Harvey's Hubcaps is the place to come for $10 hubcaps that make you look like a million bucks! Feeling run down lately? Running out of gas? Start your day off right with the winner's breakfast! Start your day off with Tire O's! They're yummy! Tired of guzzling the same dirty brown gas? Switch to the new improved Lean Mean Green Gasoline! Available now in the gourmet section of your local gas station. Tired of guzzling the same Mr. Firebird? Everyone's burning rubber to make it down to Earl's. <laughs> That's my gas gauge. Come on, Pep. Let's go see Mr. Firebird. <laughs> Here we are, Pep. It's Mr. Firebird's workshop. It says Firebird's Lab. Let's go find our friend, Mr. Firebird. Hi, Mr. Firebird. Welcome, Fut Fut. I was just putting the finishing touches on my time portal. Wow! A real time portal? Where can you go in it, Mr. Firebird? Nowhere! Nowhere at all! I don't think. You see, it's not meant for actual travel, but it gives you a way to see into the past and the future through the time portal. Like a TV set, only what you're seeing is real. Wow, that's neat! As a matter of fact, I was just about to fire it up for the very first time. Here, I'll show you. Great! And then I can show you my history report and my new school supplies. <laughs> oh, what was I thinking? I need a coin to start the washing machine. Guess I'm fresh out. Hey, I think I've got something that will solve the problem. I can't wait to get a hold of that coin. I'll finally get to see if all my hard work has paid off. 
I can't wait to get a hold of that coin. I'll finally get to see if all my hard work has paid off. I should give Mr. Firebird my coin so he can start up his machine. Here's a coin, Mr. Firebird. Ah, this is not a mere coin, Putt-Putt. It is the key to great knowledge. The washing machine is providing the perfect ratio between the inverted subspace bubble frequency, the molecular torque, and the spin cycle. <laughs> Holy goddamn! This shouldn't be happening! Not good at all, Putt Putt. My calculations show that until everything is brought back to the present time, I won't be able to shut the portal. Don't worry, Mr. Firebird. I'll go in and find everything. Once you find all your things, we can close this time portal for good. <laughs> You be careful, Putt Putt, and good luck! Wow! It's like a science fiction movie, except I have a feeling that this is reality! These must be the four places where Pep and all my things landed. I wonder where I should go first. Looking around in the time continuum. What things have always been. One, two, three, four. My homework? We feel it sad that your homework is gone and everything's wrong, but it won't be for long. But when, when you look up, you'll see the time doesn't stop because it goes on forever. Goes on forever? Goes on forever. You see the old west and eat the king and see dinosaurs and really neat future things. When you return, you'll know what you'll learn. Pay close attention. Stay on your mission To see new dimensions And, and when you look up, up You'll know that time doesn't stop Because it goes on forever with you Whoa! This must be the age of the dinosaurs! I wonder how I can move this thing so I can drive through. Hey, it's a rock in the shape of a circle! Whoa, it's a big one! Wowie zowie! It's a real live Brachiosaurus! Ms. Brachiosaurus, and who or what in the primordial ooze are you? I'm Putt-Putt, and I've come from the future. I'm trying to drive across the road back there, but there's a strange something blocking it. That strange something happens to be my tail, Putt-Putt. Gee, if it wouldn't be much trouble, Ms. Brachiosaurus, would you mind moving it so I can get through? Not at all, honey. Not at all. I'd really appreciate it. 
I never realized dinosaurs could be so big. I'll bet you eat a lot. A lot isn't the word for it. Tons, tons and tons of leafy green plants. A big girl like me can never eat too many greens. <laughs> So, exactly what year is this anyway? Year? I haven't the faintest idea. All I know is we're sometime in the age of the dinosaurs. Wow! I'm driving around millions of years before my time. Ms. Brachiosaurus, I was wondering, how tall are you when you're standing up? I happen to be, if I do say so myself, the tallest dinosaur in the world. 39 feet, give or take an inch. Wow! That's as high as a four-story building! I don't mean to be rude, but do you ever get up or do you just lie around all day? Oh, I get up all right, but when you're tipping the scales at 50 tons and you're 75 feet long like me, every once in a while you get the sudden urge to take a rest. Ms. Brachiosaurus, I was wondering, how tall are you when you're standing up? I happen to be, if I do say so myself, the tallest dinosaur in the world. 39 feet, give or take an inch. Wow! That's as high as a four-story building! I never realized dinosaurs could be so big. I'll bet you eat a lot. A lot isn't the word for it. Tons, tons and tons of leafy green plants. A big girl like me could never eat too many greens. <laughs> I don't mean to be rude, but do you ever get up or do you just lie around all day? Oh, I get up all right, but when you're tipping the scales at 50 tons and you're 75 feet long like me, every once in a while you get the sudden urge to take a rest. Thanks a lot, Ms. B. Now I'm off to explore the age of the dinosaurs. What we got here is your basic mess. Hello, Whoa. I'm Putt-Putt. Do you need some help? Yes, but first you gotta tell me what in the heck is a Putt-Putt? I never laid eyes on anything quite like you before. I'm a car and I'm visiting from the future. Whoa, imagine that. I'm Will, glad to meet you. Hey, Putt, how'd you like to help me figure out how to move this basic pile of rocks? Then I can build me a bridge and go home. I'd be happy to help you, Will. All I have to do is figure out how to do it. Full speed ahead! <laughs> that was fantastic! Stupendous! Putt, you cars from the future sure know how to fix your basic bridge. Thanks! Uh-oh, big giant problem alert. Looks like we're gonna need one more rock to finish the job. Don't worry, I'm sure I can find one somewhere. Great! Looks like we need a rock shaped like your basic pentagon. I'll keep an eye out for a rock in the shape of a pentagon, then you can cross the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rock in the shape of a pentagon. Oh, <laughs> 
Excellent! Fantastic! Thanks a gazillion punch! Well, I'm homeward bound! Come visit any old time you like! Uh -huh. Look at that! It's an apatosaurus! An itchy and a horribly miserable apatosaurus at the moment. My name's Putt-Putt, and maybe I can help you. What a positively inspired idea! You could just roll on over to my back and scratch away this terrible itch. But then I'd have to drive over your head! Not a problem, Putt-Putt. I'm tough. I can take it. Just, oh, scratch that spot. Please! Yeesh! It itches! Go a little to the left. Yes. Yes! Go a little bit up. Oh, yes! Yes! Oh, that's it. Oh, that's so much better. Thank you. You're welcome. I was happy to help. I don't know what I would have done without your help, Putt-Putt. Mind if I drive over your tail to the other side? As far as I'm concerned, Putt-Putt, you could drive on me all day and night. Be my guest. future like you, doing your past like this. I'm looking for some things I lost. My history report, my lunchbox, my calculator, and my dog, Pep. You've lost me too, but I haven't the faintest idea what those things are. Basic look to you, putt. Thanks, Will. Just to let you know, you're basically welcome here anytime you want. Thanks a lot, Will. Where are my manners? Can I interest you in some fabulous, delicious, nutritious, primordial soup? Made it myself. Sure, that would be great. Compliments of the house. Mmm, primordial soup tastes terrific. Thanks, Will. Ah, oh, don't mention it. Just to let you know, you're basically welcome here anytime you want. Thanks a lot, Will.
Oh, oh hell. It's a vicious, strange something or other about to attack. I just know it. No, it isn't. I'm Pat Pat. I never hurt anyone on it. Promise? <laughs> of course I promise. <laughs> oh, gosh. I feel much better. Say, you want to play picture jumble with the rocks? Sure, that sounds like fun. So, uh, which one's first? Let's move that one. <laughs> Let's move that one. Let's move that one. Let's move that one. <laughs> Let's move that one. All right, we did it. So, uh, which one's first? Uh, you probably wouldn't expect a big guy like me to act like such a baby. <laughs> a very big baby. How big are you, anyway? Last time I measured? Uh, 18 feet tall and 14,000 pounds. My mom says I'm almost full grown. Let's move that one. <laughs> There. Let's move that one. All right, we made the picture. I sure had fun playing with those rocks. Thanks, T-Rex. Hi, Mr. Bird. Are you ready to play a little follow the volcano? Try to match this one. Now see if you can match that. Now it's your turn. Okay, now you go. All right. You get the idea? If you want to leave, now's the time to click on the old flashing arrow. Alrighty, let's move to a higher level.
Woohoo! You've played this before, huh? If you're ready to say bye-bye, click on the flashing arrow. Okay, here's a really tough level. You missed one. To quit, just click on the old arrow. <laughs> It's my history report. I think I better get that triceratops to move before I pick it up. Excellent idea, my friend. Nobody but nobody gets in between a triceratops and his dinner. Howdy do, little buddy. You new in town? I'm Putt Putt. I'm visiting from Car Town, far in the future. Well, dang a lang a ding dong. That is something, ain't it? I'm Virgil Clyde. A rope. This might come in handy. Welcome to my home. From here I do not roam, but I'm happy if you choose to stay. I'm a homebody horse, never seen a race course, but maybe I'll see one someday. Look at that huge pile of hay! Hay is usually for horses, but if it pleases you, help yourself. Thanks! It might come in handy, you never know. Out, out in the world are many things I am told, like cowboys and cowgirls so true. They roam far and wide, cross the countryside, searching blue waters for gold. Here, here in the West, it's the place I like best. Yes, I adore the vistas so fine. It's there that I see the old sycamore trees, though I've not wandered that far, I confess. Welcome to my home. From here I do not roam, but I'm happy if you choose to stay. I'm a homebody horse, never seen a race course, but maybe I'll see one someday.
I think I have enough hay for now. Here, here in the west, it's the place I like best. Yes, I adore the vistas so fine. It's there that I see the old sycamore trees. Though I've not wandered that far, I confess. Hey, Sonny. You didn't show up a moment too soon. I'm looking to hire me a junior conductor. Pique your interest, son. Job pays a nickel. Sure, what do I have to do? For starters, you can oil me up. Why, I'm as dry as a creek bed in Indian summer. It's an oil can. A little on the wheels would do nicely. By the way, my name is Tobias T. Train. Ah. But you can call me Toby. Oh, much better. A thousand thanks, amigo. You're welcome, Toby. Say, I didn't catch your name. My name's Putt-Putt. Well, Putt-Putt, my partner, so far, you've made a mighty fine junior conductor. Here's your pay. One round nickel. Thanks, Toby. And you hang on to that old can. After all, now you're my official junior conductor. Thanks. Anything else I can do for you, Toby? As a matter of fact, there is. I'm fresh out of water. And for the life of me, I can't reach that spigot way up there on that water tower. How's about putting that nog into work? and finding something you can use to pull down that lever so you can fill me up. I'll bet I can do that. Toby, I found a rope, and I think it's just the thing to do the trick. I thought you'd be the kind of cowpoke who'd be handy with a rope trick. Oh. Oh. Uh. Now I'm officially in business thanks to you, Mr. Junior Conductor. Anytime you want to take a ride around the tracks, just hop on my flat car. I'll give you a ride you won't soon forget. Thanks, Toby. I'm sure I'll take you up on it. It sounds like fun. Well, Buckaroo, where do you want old Toby to take you? Gold River, here we come. Excuse me, hello. Well, howdy, young'un. Hey, don't mind me. <laughs> I'm panning for gold. Wow, there's really gold in that river? Uh, uh, what, what's that say? What's that? Can I get a hold of a splinter? Use some tweezers if you can find any. Otherwise, I just pull them out with my teeth. I have a funny feeling that prospector didn't hear a word I said. Well, looky here. Dang, blam it. It's just a bunch of old rusty keys. Excuse me, do you mind if I take these? Ah, Sonny, you can pick them, shake them, or bake them for all I care. They're just a bunch of good-for-nothing keys, is all. You never know. They might be good for something. <laughs> Excuse me, what's your name, sir? What's a train spur? Uh, I was never that good with machines, boy. Well, what do we have here? Shucks, no gold. <laughs> Dad Blam, I wonder. Hot and dry. It's the desert. Woody, look at that. Animal tracks. I wonder where they go.
Wowie zowie! A real mountain lion! A mountain lion can weigh up to 200 pounds! Mountain lions don't roar like real lions. They meow and purr like house cats. Hey, all you bucks and buckaroos. You're all listening to KTFR Tire Flats Radio. KTFR, I'm fit to be tied. There's no better station, says me Virgil Clyde. Baby mountain lions are born with spots. But when they get older, the spots disappear. Mountain lions don't always live in mountains. They can also be found in swamps and grasslands. Mountain lions can be gray, golden, or reddish brown. Mountain lions don't roar like real lions. They meow and purr like house cats. Gold's been reported seen in them there hills and rivers of tire flats. Of course, this account came from Silverado Sam who's been panning the river for six to seven years now, and he ain't struck gold but once. KTFR, I'm fit to be tied, and my station of choice, KTFR, of course. This is a KTFR news update. Coyote tracks was seen on the west end of Tire Flats, so you bucks and buckaroos best keep your pots of chili off your campfires. You know how coyotes go hog wild for chili. For KTFR, I go hog wild. So set for a spell and listen a while. Get ready for rodeo days here in Tire Flats. Everybody who signs up will get a turn helping Virgil Clyde to lasso groundhogs. Hey all you bucks and buckaroos, you're all listening to KTFR Tire Flats Radio. KTFR, I'm fit to be tied. There's no better station. A mountain lion can weigh up to 200 pounds! Lucky Jackrabbit! I bet you're one fast fellow! Jackrabbits can run up to 40 miles an hour! Jackrabbits can move their ears in different directions. That way they can hear things coming from any direction. Sometimes a jackrabbit will stamp its feet to let others know something's coming. Sometimes a jackrabbit will stamp its feet to let others know something's coming. Look, a mountain lion!
It's an armadillo! You're kind of cute for such a funny-looking guy, aren't you, boy? Armadillos live underground during the day and come out at night. The word armadillo is Spanish for little armored one. Armadillos can't see very well, but their hearing is good and their sense of smell is amazing. The armadillo has a tough leather skin that acts like armor, protecting its body. An armadillo uses its long, sticky tongue to get insects to eat. Armadillos live underground during the day and come out at night. The word armadillo is Spanish for little armored one. An armadillo uses its long, sticky tongue to get insects to eat. Hubcap Hill, here we come! It's my calculator! Hey, little guy, could you throw that down to me, please? It's mine! Uh-oh! Ugh! Oh no! That trunk is locked up tight! Which key should I use? Hmm... It worked! Excellent! I've got my calculator back! Now all I have to do is get Pep, my lunchbox, and my history report. So Mr. Firebird can close the time portal. We're off and chugging to the old rock mine. Hang on, we're headed back to Tire Flat Station. <laughs> well, I'll be swaggered. Well, howdy, stranger. You're not from around these here parts. No, I'm not. I'm Putt-Putt. And I've traveled here from the future. Sure you have. The name's Lurleen. What can I do for you? I'd like to look around, if you don't mind. Not a bit. Not at all. <laughs> I'd like some chewy, fruity wagon wheels, please. It'll cost you a nickel. Oh, great. I've got one of those. <laughs> well, shoot them up. Welcome to Dino Radio, all oldies, all time. Okay, all you listeners. Let's have a big round of applause for Wheel. Wheel's primordial soup voted most tasty at annual Dino Days Fun Festival held last week on Big Rock. You have trouble making friend with T-Rex next door? When you wave hello, he growls and turns other cheek. Come to Patty Apatosaurus's lecture. It called Learning to Live with T-Rex and Love It. You'll be happy you did. Hey! 
dinos out there? You having bad day? You worried about total extinction? Hey, cheer up. Next week is Dinosaur Dance, when you boogie to the beat of Dino Blasters. Nobody but nobody can have bad day. Going on trip? Fly Pterodactyl Airlines. Leave the flapping to us. Next week, Dr. Dino offering free dental care for all dinosaurs. Don't forget to brush and floss. Your pearly whites depend on it. Hey, dinos out there! The name's Kami, short for Compagnasus. That bear is my very hungry buddy, Triceratops. Glad to meet you. My name's Pug Pug. Excuse me, Mr. Triceratops. I think that's my history report you're standing on. Would you mind moving? I don't think that Triceratops notices me at all. He's much too busy eating. That guy, my friend, is always busy eating. On a good day, he could go through a couple of bushes and nothing flat. Your sweet little hubcaps, he likes it. I'm telling you, the guy's a total herbivore. Here you go, boy. to do is get Pep and my lunchbox, so Mr. Firebird can close the time portal. Bet you didn't know Triceratops means three-horned face, but don't mention it to my buddy here. He's very touchy about the subject. Last time I called him that, I got three horns in my face. It wasn't pretty. My buddy here is the original master of fast food. Give him some food, he'll eat it fast! I don't need another rock! Will's bridge is fixed! must be in the medieval times. You are tuned to Castle Radio. Forget not that each and every afternoon, King Chariot hosts story time. All children from the kingdom are invited to attend. Let it be known that Merlin the Magician has recently invented a machine that will turn common stones into gold. This discovery has made King Chariot most happy indeed. 
Castle Radio learned yesterday that King Arthur is planning to visit King Chariot this fall. He is bringing along with him a large round table. I suspect there will be much eating and celebration. In an unfortunate incident yesterday, twin dragons sneezed at the same time, causing flames to shoot six feet out their nostrils and into the air. Three piles of chopped firewood burned instantly to the ground. A flying unicorn was sighted over the castle last night. It is the second sighting to be reported in the kingdom this month. Castle Radio learned yesterday that King Arthur is planning to visit King Chariot this fall. He is bringing a- I don't need another rock. Will's bridge is fixed. Sorry. Excuse me. Do you need some help? Ma, you are so- Certainly the fancy carriage. I'm not a carriage exactly. I'm a car from the future. My name's Putt-Putt. I'm very happy to meet you, Putt-Putt. I'm Princess Chassie. And this is my best friend and loyal subject, Woodward. We have been out collecting wood for the blacksmith when a horrible rainstorm hit. We went charging back to the castle as fast as we could when I hit a bump. My wheel fell right off in the middle of the road. Well, maybe I can help you figure out a way to get that wheel back on. That would be wonderful, Putt-Putt. Now I wonder how we should do this. Okay, Princess Chassie, here's the plan. You lift up your friend Woodward, and I'll slip on his wheel. It would be my pleasure. Oh my goodness gracious sakes. Good thanks to both of you. You're welcome. Now I must hurry back to the castle. My father, King Chariot, is expecting me for story time. And I have to return with the blacksmith's firewood. Perhaps we'll see you later, Putt-Putt. Bye! Wow, this is some castle! Yes, it is! Only the rains have rusted the gates shut. We need something to help loosen them up. That's what I think. I think I have something that will work! Someday, I hope to grow up to be a blacksmith. Our blacksmith, Sir Poundalot, he's teaching me everything he knows. He's the nicest blacksmith in the world. No doubt about it. This should help open that rusty gate. A thousand and one thank yous, Putt-Putt. Now we won't be late for story time. Happy Bard Max Wellington, who loves to play the lute. I once thought of being a piper, but I cannot play the flute. I could have been a pianist, but that wouldn't fiddle my back. I had no talent for the trumpet, but for the lute I have a knack. I found too noisy, the tuba too big to hold. 
The oval was just plain eerie and the harp too made of gold. Nothing compare with my beautiful loot. No, nothing I've ever found. Whether I be on sea or land, strolling through country dale or town. <laughs> Let me strum you a merry tale of dragons large and maidens fair. The dragon with his shiny scale and the maiden with her flaxen hair. Hi, Woodward. Good to see you again, Putt-Putt. You're in for a regular treat, because Sir Poundalot, my friend over there, is the nicest blacksmith in the world, and that's the truth. It's my lunchbox! Sir Blaze, that is extremely impolite. Give the little fellow his lunchbox, please. Wow. I am terribly sorry about my dragon. He's a bit out of sorts today. He hasn't had a morsel of dragon food to eat all day. Do you think if I found him some dragon food, he'd trade it for my lunchbox? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose you should interpret that as a yes. May I help? My name's Putt-Putt, and I'm looking for some things. Take all the time in the world. My shop is your shop. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thanks! Still work to be done. More than anything, I love being a blacksmith. Coming along nicely. Wow! This looks like some sort of game! Let's play with these balloons! Maybe we could shoo those crows away with them. Just show me where to let go of each balloon. If you want to quit the game, just click on the arrow. like we shoot off all the crows. Oh, my God. 
like we shoot off all the crows. any more balloons. Let's give it another try. <laughs> We shoot off all the crows. Try that again. Did it! 
Great job! Uh-oh, no more balloons. Let's start this level over again. We shoot off all the crows. Joke about the cat who ate yarn when her babies were born they had sweaters on. I like stories of far off places, of unicorns and dragon chases. Tell me a story of a prince so fine who kisses a frog and turns into a fly. Put put, I'm so happy you joined us for story time. Me too, thanks. Welcome ye stranger. What be your name? My name's Putt-Putt. And I am King Chariot. Thou hast arrived just in time to hear a reading from the Royal Joke Book. Oh, that sounds like fun! Hmm, now which one shall I read first? Why was the Royal Chef fired? Because he fixed terrible food? No, it was because he was mean. He beat the eggs and he whipped the cream. <laughs> Why did the queen put roller skates on her rocking chair? I give up. So she could rock and roll. <laughs> what dost thou get when thou sets two rabbits out in the blazing sun all day? What? What? Hot cross bunnies. <laughs> Why do bats fly at night? I give up. Why? Because they are afraid to drive. <laughs> <laughs> what did the mother broom say to the baby broom? I don't know. She said, It is time to go to sweep, dear. <laughs> what has 100 legs but cannot walk? I give up. 50 pairs of pants. <laughs> <laughs> What dost thou get when thou crosses a dragon with a peanut butter sandwich? What, King Chariot? A dragon that sticks to the roof of your mouth! <laughs> <laughs> Why should thou never share a secret with a clock? Why not, King Chariot? Because time will tell. <laughs> <laughs> what falls in the winter but never gets hurt? I have no idea. It is the snow. <laughs> what did the dirt say to the rain? What, Father, what? It said, please stop raining on me or my name will be mud. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Queen. Queen who? Queen up your supper dishes or you shan't have dessert. <laughs> Why did the court jester tell jokes to his stomach? Why did he, King Chariot? He wanted to hear a belly laugh. <laughs> <laughs> a flying unicorn was sighted. We shall begin as... Hello, I'm... Do, do not tell me. Ah, yes. You must be from the future. How did you know that? 
You are not the only visitor I have encountered from another time. My name is Merlin. Merlin the Magician? Wow! You have traveled from a time very far away. And like all travelers, you must be looking for something. I sure am. Well, my friend, I believe you will find everything you are looking for. I hope you're right. to see me turn rock into cold? Boy, would I ever! to raise and lower the gate. That's the lever to raise and lower the gate. Welcome to the Petorama, the make-it-yourself pet food smorgasbord. You may make any kind of custom pet food simply by creating the animal you wish to feed and then pressing the food button. Thank you and have a pleasant day. This looks like fun! Shh. 
Your food is in process. Customized pet food is nearly ready. Great! Dragon food! I think I know someone who will appreciate this! Food will be ready momentarily. Special delivery! Insta food! Dragon, 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 look what I have! Oh my goodness, he was hungry! My lunchbox! Now all I have to do is get pep, so Mr. Firebird can close the time portal. from the past. I thought this was a library. Where's all your books? 
My, my, you are from the past, aren't you? Nowadays, all books can be found on our computer. Usually, when you find what you're looking for, I can make a copy for you. But unfortunately, at the moment, we're out of paper. By the way, my name's Darian. Darian the Librarian. Glad to meet you, Darian. The large pig was hungry. He ate three pink petunias. His pet dog ate the scraps. The large pig was hungry. He ate three pink petunias. His pet rock ate the scraps. The sneaky pig was hungry. He ate three red petunias. His pet iguana ate the scraps. The manatee found the missing t-shirts. Now all of the dogs will be happy. Is that confetti that they're throwing? The manatee found the missing bow ties. Now all of the beavers will be happy. Is that cheese that they're throwing? The manatee found the missing hats. Now all of the lizards will be happy. Is that fruit that they're throwing? The manatee found the missing lederhosen. Now all of the ants will be happy. Is that spaghetti that they're throwing? The bunnies cried when their instruments turned into fish, but they laughed when the audience turned into turtles. The penguins cried when their instruments turned into tacos, but they laughed when the audience turned into beetles. The puppies cried when their instruments turned into pizza, but they laughed when the audience turned into seagulls. The band. The rats cried when their instruments turned into cheese, but they laughed when the audience turned into umbrellas. The playground. Look! That monkey just jumped off the monkey bar so hard his shoes fell off. Hope he lands in that pile of sawdust. Look! That lizard just jumped off the curly slide so hard his shoes fell off. Hope he lands in that pile of leaves. Look! That goat just jumped off the tire swing so hard his shoes fell off. Hope he lands in that pile of old socks. Look! That panda just jumped off the buffalo so hard his shoes fell off. Hope he lands in that pile of ice cream. The lion. The lion is carrying a watermelon and a cheese log. He's balancing a fan on his head. The lion is carrying a telescope and a giant pickle. He's balancing a harp on his head. The lion is carrying a barrel and a dachshund. He's balancing a chair on his head. The lion is carrying a football and a bagpipe. He's balancing a basket on his head. The scale. Which weighs more, a pound of lead or a pound of feathers? Susie writes the answer with a pen. Which weighs more, a pound of nails or a pound of crayons? 
Susie writes the answer with a spatula. Which weighs more, a pound of cat food or a pound of balloons? Susie writes the answer with a banana. Which weighs more, a pound of sponges or a pound of waffles? Susie writes the answer with an eel. Mr. Bear. The bear combs his hair with a hairbrush. He brushes his teeth with a toothbrush. Afterward, he'll wash his hands with soap. The bear combs his hair with a rake. He brushes his teeth with a pickle. Afterward, he'll wash his hands with cheese. The bear combs his hair with a donut. He brushes his teeth with a banana. Afterward, he'll wash his hands with eggs. The bear combs his hair with a branch. He brushes his teeth with a bacon strip. Afterward, he'll wash his hands with jelly. The elephant. Yikes! The elephant is trying to ski on banana peels on a mountain of snow. Look out for the toast! Yikes! The elephant is trying to ski on electric eels on a mountain of butter. Look out for the watermelons! Yikes, the elephant is trying to ski on butter knives on a mountain of cereal. Look out for the gophers! Yikes, the elephant is trying to ski on pickles on a mountain of glue. Look out for the bean bags! That vampire has hot peppers instead of fangs. Can you find his friends the werewalrus and the mummy bunny? That vampire has piano keys instead of fangs. Can you find his friends the werewombat and the mummy beaver? That vampire has spaghetti instead of fangs. Can you find his friends the werewombat and the mummy beaver? That vampire has spaghetti instead of fangs. Can you find his friends the were-warthog and the mummy puppy? That vampire has mushrooms instead of fangs. Can you find his friends the were-waffle and the mummy python? Pajama Sam Vampire Sam sleeps all snug in his bed, covered with cozy blankets. He dreams his socks are all missing. Sam sleeps all snug in his bathtub, covered with cozy feathers. He dreams his socks are all itty-bitty. Sam sleeps all snug in his piano, covered with cozy fruit. He dreams his socks are all plaid. Sam sleeps all snug in his salad bowl, covered with cozy laundry. He dreams his socks are all dancing. Sam sleeps all snug in his salad bowl, covered with cozy fruit. He dreams his socks are all itty-bitty. Exit. Welcome to our museum. I am Arthur T. Fact, the pre-programmed curator. But you may call me R. T. Fact. Hi, I'm Putt-Putt, and I'm visiting from the past. I was hoping I could look around, 
That is acceptable. Please stay as long as your schedule permits. If you have any questions, I will answer them for you. One ancient toasting device, circa 1989. What may I do for you, Putt-Putt? I was wondering if you had any Pajama Man comic book. I'm afraid not. I find ancient artifacts positively fascinating. <laughs> It's a stone bowl, an ancient food container. It's a newspaper, an ancient writing. It's an abacus, an ancient mathematics artifact. Now, aren't you the cutest little guy on four wheels? What can I do to help you? My name's Putt-Putt, and I'm visiting from the past. I was hoping I could have a look around. First things first, you can call me Miss Electra. And second, you go ahead and make yourself comfy and stay just as long as you ever love and please. Thanks, Miss Electra. I will. For golly sakes! Excuse me, Miss Electra. What kind of machine is that? Why, it's a battery-making machine. You can help me make some if you like. Wow, that sounds like fun. Well, would you look at that. Okay, Putt-Putt. You can make me a battery with 9 volts. Just punch in the number of volts you want, and the machine, bless its heart, will do the rest. Okay, I can do that. I'll start with 6 volts. I still need more volts of power so I can have a total of 9. Electra. Perfect. Just perfect. Oh. Welcome to the Paint O Rama three thousand, the automated painterizer. Do adjust your selected color. To initiate it. To initiate the paint process, press the large green button. Scanning process initiated. Thinking process initiated. Painting completed. We hope that your paint overall experience has been a pleasant one. I look good. Thank you. And enjoy for a new color.
Well, would you look at that? Now hop in and let's get going! Hot diggity, this is great! It looks like I got everything I needed to get! Come on, Pep! Let's travel back through time to Car Town and tell Mr. Firebird! Put, put. I knew you would. Now I can finally show you my new school supplies. Excellent, Putt Putt. But first, I must close the time portal for good. We don't need any more disasters. Disasters? I don't know about that, Mr. Firebird. I guess it all depends on how you look at it. Between you and me, 
I thought time traveling was the best fun ever. Well, I'm glad you had so much fun, Putt Putt. But according to my calculations, you're going to be late for school unless you hurry. Yipes, you're right, Mr. Firebird. I'll show you my report later. Here's my history report. Now let me tell you what I learned.
Do you want to play again?